Hi everybody, welcome back to MD Fly Fishing. Well, this time last week I was out at Pennine fishing my big leeches. Just to prove a point, I went out to my water and fished traditional flies. Small traditional flies in late November. Did they work? Of course they did. Like bibios, spiders and a few of the variants that I've made over the last couple of years for fishing at Ryburn. Fish? I've had loads of fish. And this is a difficult water to fish. Many a time I've seen the catch returns, nothing. But some people do ask me, why do you keep going there? Why do you keep fishing from this certain point? Well, I'll explain that in a minute. One of my favourite places is up by the bench because it gives you access to a lot of water. If you go in area A, you can stand where the X is and cast it five, six rod lengths straight down that banking. The banking round here is about two foot deep. As soon as you get off the edge and then it dramatically slopes away. Area B, you can cast it right out there and bring it along on an intermediate line. You're about five or six foot down, you'll catch a fish that are on the lower end of the bank. Or if you want to get a sinking line on, cast it into area C and let it go right down and you bring it up the bank. Because there it could be anything up to 30 foot deep. So today, I fished a new fly, size 12, with a copper bead to give it some weight. A bit of straggle around the net, a little bit of silver wire, a bit like a spider. Hmm, good. Here's a fry. So today was that single fly and a 14 foot leader intermediate line and I cast it out as far as I could. It's only about a couple of feet off the bank but as I say even that couple of feet there directly beneath it probably four foot of water and the fish do come in very close. So I took it out into the yonder and brought it back letting it sink down. Give it sometimes 20 seconds sometimes 30 seconds and as I say I'm fishing this 12 inch strip and at the end as I'm bringing the fly out of the water my little terminology I just twiggle the fly before it leaves the surface of the water and sometimes I've had good takes on that. Now not only have you got this expanse of water to your front as you'll probably see on the back cast there's quite a good area behind me as well but I'll show you a picture of that later. Let's get this first fish see what happens. We're on. We're off. Ah, oh, you rat bag. That happens quite a lot to people around here. The fish, when they take the fly, they don't just try and do a runner. They shake their head like mad. And it's barbless hooks. The hook will come out. Now, I did fish behind the boathouse near the wooded area. Same fly, messing around with it, twiggling it. And as I twiggled it out of the water, a rainbow took it. But again, I didn't have my GoPro on. But I did get some footage of it with my phone because I did take a picture of it. And I did do a video of the release. So this is the first fish that came out to this fly, which I'm quite happy about. Proves it works. So I'd fished around different areas, but it always drew me back to the seat because of its geographical place. There's just so many options to fish from. And when I was saying you can fish from the front, you've also got the same amount of water to your rear. And if you're good at backcasting, you can achieve some good distance and cover just as much water. I've always said there's some big fish in here and I've hooked onto a few in the past but never seen them There was under the water. This one I did see, rainbow, quite a big one but all it did was just cruise off to the right. It was just under the surface. I thought I had it but as soon as I changed the angle of the rod it came off. So in slow motion, this is how I have to relive it. It's the one that got away. But this was only a short couple of hours, a cold day, full of water, it's done not but rain. It's gonna rain all this weekend, so I can't get back out again. But nice little fly. This is me and my days out. Thanks very much for watching everybody, and I'll catch you all later.